Hey kids! Hello! For those of you who don't know, Road Trip USA is a curriculum that our teacher friend, Mrs. Ricketts, developed uh, to have her kids watch our stories and sometimes they write us questions and we answer them. So this is our second round of answering questions for, uh, for you kiddos out there. They've also done some really cool things like making buttons and they've sent us pictures of those and they've also uh, done a green screen and inserted themselves into, uh, into some of our videos, which is really cool and adorable so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy that all right so here go the questions so the first question that kids ask this time is how much water do you have to take on a hike and how does your water uh, system work so first part of that question we take about two to three liters each depending on the conditions and the trail length that is right the second part of the question is how do our water bladders work and uh, how do you fill them up? So uh, it's really pretty simple. We've got the hose here that uh, goes into the water bladder that's on the inside. And on the nozzle here, it's just, it's a bite valve. So all you have to do is bite on it and shock. And you get a fresh drink of water. If we happen to run out of water while we're on the trail or like when we're on the Pacific Crest Trail uh, and we need to treat our water to make sure that there are no microorganisms or diseases in there, this is what's called a SteriPen and it uses ultraviolet light to make sure that all the bad things are out of the water. The second question was, what are the coolest trees you've seen so far? And we've discussed this one and that's really pretty easy. We both like the red redwoods. Redwoods. Redwoods are cool. The third question was, what are the coolest animals you've seen? And I want to say for me, I don't like spiders, but we've seen some pretty cool ones, including black widow and tarantulas. Yeah, and for me, uh, most of them came in Glacier Park, and it was, we saw a marmot, which was the first time I saw one of those, some mountain goats, and this cool little guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys really love Chocolate Chip. You're asking about how big he is. Well, he is about half the length of Reuben when he's stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, he's considered a large dog and he's 65 pounds. Yeah, large is his shirt size anyway. And uh, <laughs> he's about to be 10 years old. 10, uh, December 8th is his birthday when he'll be 10. Yay! So next up is which ocean do you prefer, the Atlantic or the Pacific? We like all bodies of water. Yeah. They're all pretty. Well, maybe, maybe except the Salton Sea. Ooh, that was stinky, stinky. The next question is, how many miles have you traveled so far? And we've driven uh, just over 14,000 miles, and I know that because I've had to get two oil changes, which we get every 5,000 miles. <laughs> and also, we have an odometer. <laughs> Well, there's that too. <laughs> and we've hiked over 500 miles. So I know that because I had to get new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Next question. Do you have to deal with a lot of insects when you hike? And not really. We've uh, kind of planned this trip to stay where it's about 70 degrees and that uh, doesn't bode well for the insects most of the time. Though when we did first start out and it was a lot hotter, like up in Michigan, we did deal with some bugs, mm. if you guys recall. <laughs> so the next question is, have you seen many beaver dams when you're on rivers and lakes? And I don't know, we haven't really noticed. And I've seen a lot of beaver dams in my life, so maybe that's why we haven't noticed because it's not like a super something that I don't see very often. Yeah, but we've been in the desert lately, but we were at a, uh, a national park office the other day and we saw this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Last but not least, and probably the toughest question to answer is, what is your favorite location so far? And oh my goodness, everything's amazing. Yeah, so many cool places. So many. So when I narrowed it down, I think my three top favorites were the Bighorn National Forest, the Oregon Coast, and Rainbow Basin in Southern California. How about you, Ruben? Well, I really, really enjoyed Glacier National Park just because we got to see so much wildlife. The, uh, the sea caves on uh, Lake Superior were super awesome. And they were superior. They were superior. And uh, cliff dwellings, <laughs> the cliff dwellings that we just went to in New Mexico uh, were super cool because I've always wanted to see something like that. Thanks for asking these amazing questions, guys. We love it. We love the art projects you guys keep sending us. Please keep doing that. Y'all are amazing. Yeah, thank you so much and just hope you guys keep to continue following along. Yeah, and you get to do your own travels. Woohoo. Bye.